Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. In this example, we have to find the value of this integration, okay? And where c is a circle mod z minus i is equal to 2. So let us call the given integral as i. So let me write here, we have i is equal to integration over c, 1 upon z square plus 4 dz. Okay, so let me mention our circle mod z minus i is equal to 2, where c is a circle mod z minus i is equal to 2. So you know the standard form of a circle. Okay, so when you have mod z minus z naught, when you have z minus z naught is equal to r, so it represents a circle, okay, with center z naught. What is the center of this circle? z naught and its radius is r. So if you compare that equation with this one, you can easily see its center is i, since at a place of z naught we have i. So let me mention its center. Its center is i, so i that means 0, 1, getting real part 0 and imaginary part 1. Let us write radius now. Radius is equal to 2. You can easily see on the right hand side of that equal to sign, we have r and here we have 2. So r is equal to 2, so our radius is 2. So let me draw that circle, so we will have clear idea about that circle. Okay, This is imaginary axis and this one is real axis, right? Okay, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, here 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2. What is the center of our circle? 0, 1. So it will be here, okay? You can easily see 0, 1 and radius is 2. That means 2 here and 2 here. So that means I will draw a rough sketch, okay? I will draw a rough sketch here. So our circle will be like this. So this is the circle we have. This is circle C. Okay, it not passes through point 2. Huh? It is slightly here. Okay, so this is a given circle C we have. Right. So let us go further. Uh, whatever the function we have inside the integration, we call it as capital F of Z. So let me write it here. Our capital F of Z. We have. We have capital F of z that means the function inside the integration which is 1 upon z square plus 4. So now we have to find the points where the given function is not analytic. I will tell you the common technique or very simple technique that is we will find a points where denominator will be 0. Uh, see we have to find a point of values of z for which denominator will be 0. So if you find factors it will be very easy to find. So let us find factors of denominator here. So this is equal to 1 upon z square minus 4i square. We can write definitely, we can write in this way. Since i square is equal to minus 1, minus, minus, plus. So that's why plus 4 can be replaced by minus 4i square. So this is equal to 1 upon, see, uh, I hope all of you are familiar with this formula, a square minus b square, a plus b, a minus b. So using this formula, what can we write here? z plus 2i, right, z minus 2i. So in this way, we found out factors of that denominator. So now it is very easy to find whether denominator will be 0. If I put z is equal to 2i, then value of that bracket will be 0 and we will have 0 at denominator. Or if z is equal to minus 2i, if z is minus 2i, minus 2i plus 2i will get cancelled and this bracket will give 0, so denominator will be 0. So simply we can say at z is equal to plus minus 2i, our denominator will be 0 and function won't be analytic. Okay, so let me remove this part. It is not required. So therefore, capital F of z, therefore, capital F of z is not analytic, analytic at z is equal to plus minus 2i. So now the next question is these two points lie inside a circle or outside a circle. Let us find. So what is the first point we have? 2i. So this is i. So 2i will be here getting 2i will be here. So that point 2i lies inside a circle minus 2i. So it is it will be a negative imaginary axis. So here minus 2i will be here. So let me show it here minus 2i and this is 2i. So what happens here? Uh, one point lies inside a circle and the second point lies outside a circle. The point which lies outside 
we should not worried about that okay since we are focusing only on that circle okay so we are uh, worried about the point which lies inside a circle so we should take care of it so uh, let me show you what i am going to do so then capital f of z let me copy the same function which we already got z plus 2i right z minus 2i so uh, what did i tell you that minus 2i minus 2i that means this bracket huh? minus actually minus sign is there but minus minus plus so that minus 2i lies outside a bracket uh, sorry outside a circle so that's why this bracket is not creating any problem for us since the corresponding point lies outside a circle but see 2i that means the second bracket is creating a uh, trouble for us since that point lies inside a circle so what will i do so uh, this bracket i'm going to shift at numerator so this is equal to 1 upon z plus 2i divided by z minus 2i okay so this is equal to this is equal to so whatever the numerator we have i'm calling it as small f of z upon z minus 2i where we should mention small f of z is 1 upon z plus 2i right the numerator is nothing but our small f of z say no more space to write make a screenshot of it then we will go further okay so now what will i do uh, that small f of z okay so let me mention here clearly small f of z is analytic is analytic inside and on closed curve c the function is analytic inside and on closed curve c you can easily the function is not analytic at point minus 2i but that point lies outside so that's why we say the function is analytic inside and on closed curve c that is true see uh, in previous video we have already uh, seen that Cauchy's integral formula for Cauchy's integral formula we want small f of z which will satisfy the same condition that small f of z must be analytic inside and on closed curve c and such function we have got here so now we are ready to apply Cauchy's integral formula right so let us apply so by by Cauchy's integral formula by Cauchy's integral formula let me write i is equal to integration over c this is our i so this is our capital f of z which we have already expressed in this way so let me write here small f of z divided by z minus 2i dz okay so uh, yes let me remove this diagram so we'll have some more space okay see uh, i hope you still you remember coach statement of coach's integral formula the statement is integration over c f of z upon z minus z naught dz is equal to 2 pi i f of z naught so if you compare uh, yes this integral and this one you can easily see our z naught is 2i so let me use this formula 2 pi i f of z naught that means f of 2i so this is equal to 2 pi i okay what is our f of z small f of z is 1 upon z plus 2i so let us put z is equal to 2i there so what i should write here into 1 upon value of f of 2i is 2i plus 2i since our z is 2i so this is equal to 2 pi i into here we will have 4i so i i will get cancelled and 2 also will get cancelled so what will be the final answer it will be pi by 2 okay so this is a required answer so yes uh, make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye